We bring you the second part of our series on medicine on the cutting edge. Robin and I have talked a lot about mammograms and ultrasound and talked with you as well about the hope that someday there could be maybe a new technology that would discover potential cancer before it became actual cancer. So I decided to journey into the future of breast cancer diagnosis to see if I could show you what's new and coming our way. How is it we haven't heard about this before? Well, it's relatively new. This is the Weill Cornell Medical Center in New York City, where doctors are testing a new computerized version of a very old technology, infrared technology called thermography. In fact, look at this. It was created decades ago to map the heat from an enemy missile that might be approaching the U.S. Well, a growing cancer produces extra blood vessels, and blood vessels produce extra heat. So if you were sitting here, for example, as a patient, mm -hmm. then there's this puff of air that comes out and would actually blow on the breasts. And then this camera takes a picture looking at the temperature gradient. It really sort of looks like Haight-Ashbury, no. you know, in the 1960s. <laughs> it's a very kind of trippy looking screen here. So the machine works this way. You strip down, cool air, like an air conditioner, blows on your breasts. Breasts generally don't have a lot of vessels, so they show up gray. As you can see, you generally have extra vessels in your neck and face. That's why mine are red. But if extra vessels show up in your breast... And you see where you're clothed, it's cooler, so mm -hmm. not surprising. Right. Now, the whole principle that this is based upon is that when a cancer develops, mm -hmm. it creates a new blood supply. So because of that, an area around a cancer will be warmer than the surrounding normal temperature. Here I am. I want to establish. I'm just sitting here in this perfectly pleasant room. I happen to be clothed, <laughs> but I wouldn't be if you all weren't here. And this is the air that's going to blow in on me. Mm -hmm. It's seeing it from an air conditioner. It's really yes. not uncomfortable at it's all. It's front of an air conditioner. It's not even chilly. It's just cool air. I'm hoping that this will be a way to detect any problems in my somewhat denser breast tissue. Karina Sackmar, who's taking the test, has a family history of breast cancer. She's in the high-risk category. Neither her mammogram or sonogram have shown any problems, but we look at the result of this scan. And in particular, this little pink spot right there is abnormal. Mm -hmm. So what that's saying is that hmm. that particular area in the patient's right breast in the upper outer quadrant is suspicious for having cancer. But scientists will learn more from the 21 machines now scattered across the country. So the hope of medicine right now is if we can't cure breast cancer, Every little step in detecting it can make a huge difference in a life. This is not a presidential campaign, and it's not like we're only going to have one you know, winner. In this situation, we need to use the best of all of our testing in order to help each woman with early detection of breast cancer.